Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching in the car today. Uh, so I had some information that I had to get out. Thursday, this Thursday coming up, the 16th of March, 2017, the Massachusetts Assault Weapons Ban is being challenged in U.S. District Court. Um, the case is going to be Worman, W-O-R-M-A-N v. Baker, and I'll have a link in the description like always. And um, there are a couple things being challenged by this lawsuit. Now, again, it's going to go in front of a U.S. District Court, and I don't know how well this will fare. It's going to come down to how well they attack the uh, the Fourteenth Amendment angle of it. But uh, let's go over what it's going to do and what they're looking to uh, get an answer for. So the case is a direct challenge to the constitutionality of Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter One Forty, Section One Thirty One M which uh, is basically our extended assault weapons and high magazine, high capacity magazine ban here in Massachusetts. It made anything that was not purchased or owned prior to um, September 13th, 1994, illegal. So uh, your high cap magazines, uh, your assault weapons, what they, what they term as an assault weapon, your AR platforms, AK platforms, etc., cetera, uh, made those illegal. Basically it carried the federal assault weapon ban that sunsetted it carried that over to a permanent statute here in Massachusetts. So along with challenging the constitutionality of that, uh, it also is going to challenge the constitutionality of Maura Healy, our insane in the membrane attorney general, who on July 20th of 2016 came out with an enforcement notice that overnight put a ban on all of the ARs and AKs that were deemed Massachusetts compliant and had been sold for a decade or so, uh, more than a decade, and uh, overnight she changed the wording and how she was going to interpret the law, which was illegal, and uh, banned that stuff overnight. And in doing so, instead of clarifying the statute, she clouded it more, and she the term she used is copies or duplicates. So if you have a copy of an AR, of a banned AR, or a duplicate of such, or something that has a similar operating system, then that was also deemed illegal from that point forward. Um, crazy stuff. You've seen my videos. If not, go through my breaking news videos. I'll have a link uh, flying right above my head in a card and you can check that out. So I'm going to read to you right from uh, the docket. Uh, the complaint is going to uh, make three allegations. So the first one is that Massachusetts assault weapons ban is unconstitutional uh, because it bans the possession of an entire class of arms that are common use by law-abiding adult citizens in violation of the Supreme Court's decision in D.C. versus Heller. So they're going right after them for violating the law of the land. The second thing is, uh, it's challenging that the Attorney General's July 20th, 2016 enforcement notice um, is, or notice of enforcement, the, the exact term, is unconstitutional because it amounts to an ex post facto enlargement of an existing criminal statute. And then the third is that the term, quote, copies or duplicates, end quote, is unconstitutionally vague because law-abiding citizens of average intelligence are not aware of what conduct is prohibited. And if you're not familiar with it, again, I got several videos on this without you know beating a dead horse. Nobody in the state really knows what's illegal, what's legal. Um, we're all considered felons in waiting because we have ARs or AKs that were mass compliant, were sold to us and okayed by the state, by the state police. But all of a sudden, overnight, they are uh, illegal. You're unable to buy them anymore. All kinds of craziness. So this lawsuit is uh, looking to declare that and get a judgment that the Massachusetts assault weapons ban is unconstitutional and it violates the second and 14th amendment uh, that the copies of duplicate language in the July notice of enforcement is a retroactive application of a new law in violation of 14th amendment rights and that the term copies or duplicates itself is a violation of the 14th amendment because it is unconstitutionally vague and it's also looking to enjoin the Commonwealth of Massachusetts from enforcing the assault weapon ban. So that's legal speak for basically um, forcing them to stop enforcing this. Um, basically making this, this assault weapon ban goodbye. Uh, we'll see. We all have high hopes in here in Massachusetts. This is where we are as of right now. Thursday we should get some type of uh, information. If they attack the angle of the 14th Amendment, I think they're going to have a decent chance more so than if they just go against the Second Amendment, although any violation of the Constitution um, blows my mind that how courts can let them stand. But uh, we'll see. Inquiring minds want to know. 
stick with me on this channel. You know I'll have the information as soon as it comes out. If you haven't joined us, please subscribe. This uh, family is growing and fighting for the Second Amendment. And with you guys, uh, we can get stuff done. I appreciate your time. This is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.